Okay, so let's talk about vacuum lines and vacuum sources. Something that I might have overlooked at the time, but after having a discussion with my buddy, um, kind of came to an agreement on this. So, the wastegate here, down here, needs to see a boost source in order for it to actuate and open. Well, you have to plumb in a vacuum line, of course, but it actually doesn't never really ever need to see vacuum. So, what do we need to do? This works just fine. However, this is like a vacuum and a boost source. The wastegate never needs to see vacuum. So, I'm going to move this line to right here. Because this only sees boost. It does not see vacuum. And the reason that's capped off is because I'm running a vent to atmosphere here so I can avoid oil and uh, crankcase pressure or anything along those lines to actually go up into the intake and start burning oil and all that good stuff that we don't want to do. So, we're going to move this line to there. That leaves us an open source. Well, there's a point to that because I'm still going to use it. And this is what I'm going to use it for. Right here, my map sensor for the micro squirt setup is running to the vacuum tree, which it works, but it may not be the cleanest vacuum and boost source because this is teeing off into here, which its engine source is right here, and it tees off into the actual PCV valve. Let's see if we can see it right there. So, it's like a it's not the cleanest source. So if we take this line here, put a new vacuum line on it and run it to right here, this is a very clean signal because it's seeing both vacuum and boost. So that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to switch these lines around and see if we can get some cleaner signals and maybe my car will run a little bit better. It already, already runs good as it is, but you know, at least that will be a very cleaner source because it's directly above the ports here for engine vacuum and also seeing boost immediately once it enters the intake manifold. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, now we got this boost line right here. Runs down to the wastegate. And this is our new map center line. Map sensor line, sorry. Just runs straight to there. And of course use the factory um, vacuum cap there to block off the open port. All right. Let's see if there's a uh, see if there's any difference. source now and uh, did change it a little bit I'm starting to see a little bit close to 14 13 14 on the vacuum side and cars island good strong so yeah looks like uh, switching out those uh, vacuum lines a little bit helped So just a little quick note here in regards to the vacuum line setup here. This is just my current setup. So this is not the end all be all vacuum line setup for this turbo kit here. Actually the preference uh, for doing a wastegate um, vacuum or boost source is actually off the turbo housing itself. But on three performance turbos actually do not have a fitting or a spot to actually mount a boost line to it. If you were to do it yourself, you'd have to probably drill and tap in here somewhere right off the charge pipe down there, which I think I am going to do. Just so I have a direct boost source, even though this line now, right here, does actually only see boost now. However, it's still, you know, going through the whole system, running off the turbo, and through the intercooler, and up to the fender area, up into the throttle body. So... It's not seeing that boost source very quickly, however, it does work. The waste heat does open, so it does good for now. But, if you want to have a direct boost source right off the turbo itself, I'd say you're going to want to drill and tap into the turbo housing here, or off the charge pipe here, maybe weld a little bung or something. 
and that would be better. If you were to do it on the housing itself, uh, on three says you void your warranty by doing that. So it's give and take. Do you want to go ahead and um, you know do that? Do you want to void the warranty? Is it worth it just to go ahead and void it in case, in case something happens? Just drop the you know seven hundred bucks to get a new turbo. You know that's the choice you're going to have to make. But again, if you do decide to mount it like I did, going right off here off the boost source here off the throttle body, it'll work. I tested it, drove it, works just fine. Um, so I just wanted to provide that little note for you guys. So essentially, we got our vacuum lines all running up to the intake manifold here. You got your boost source here for the wastegate. You got your map sensor line here that runs to your map sensor for the tuning software and for the tuning and the micro squirt. And of course the vacuum line here for the fuel pressure regulator.